Live from WSLS, this is 10 News at 6, working for you. Now at 6, residents in the Hill City came together today for the Martin Luther King Jr. Walk for Unity. Hear what the community leaders have to say about being at a, a special spot to celebrate unity. Plus, world leaders continue discussions about Russia on the Ukrainian border. Watch the moment as journalists learn what it's like to be on the front lines. And tax season is here, and along with that comes scammers. We're working for you on tips to file properly and how to avoid those people who are trying to trying to, excuse me, take your money. We appreciate your company here on this Saturday evening. I'm McKinley Struther. We start with a live look from our Liberty University Skycam out of Lynchburg. A beautiful sunset on what has been a very windy Saturday here in southwest Virginia. Meteorologist Delaney Warden joins us now. How long is that wind going to stick around? Well, luckily, as we head over the next few hours, we're finally going to see the wind weaken and stay weaker, which I know is a good news for a lot of us. Winds are still sustained, though, anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour at this point. Of course, gusting even stronger at times. We've been dealing with some gusts upwards of even 50 miles per hour throughout the day today across portions of the region. Now, looking live to our sky came over in Blacksburg, pretty much the exact same as what you saw there in Lynchburg. Beautiful, clear skies, a nice sunset, temperature of 36 degrees at the moment, and temperature feels Feels actually more like 28 when you factor in those gusty winds. The biggest difference today versus yesterday is really that we saw more sunshine throughout the day, which was a nice change. However, still those winds causing our temperatures to feel colder. We are ranging anywhere from just below freezing over in hot springs to the mid to upper 40s back towards areas like Danville at 47 degrees. Here over the next few hours, our temperatures are going to be dropping pretty quickly and running even colder tonight than we were this morning. Details are coming up here in Roanoke, a portion of Williamson Road southbound near downtown. It's open for you again. Earlier today, it was closed because of construction material blocking that road. We alerted you to this on the WSLS 10 News app. In that time, police still have not shared with us what caused that material to fall. And then in Lynchburg, a portion of Autumn Drive from Ford Avenue to White Oak Drive will be closed on from Monday to March 14th, including the weekends. Only residents and emergency vehicles can drive through that roadway. A detour will be available. The Lynchburg Community Harvests Unified this morning in the name of Martin Luther King Jr. by hosting a walk in celebration. 10 News reporter Alexis Davila tells us what it means to local leaders to see different generations take strides together. Gathering at the edge of the Martin Luther King Jr. Bridge, dozens of Lynchburg residents get ready to walk in unity. The event was postponed due to winter weather last month, but Dr. James Cam insisted they come together to honor the legacy of MLK. He looked at it at a point that America should be a melting pot with no color, and that's what we stand for, and that's what we are here in Lynchburg, expecting the same thing. As a resident of Lynchburg for the past 25 years, the city's police chief says the walk on Fifth Street is significant. We want to continue to build trust and make sure that our folks in our community feel comfortable engaging with our officers on, on all levels. The crowd gathered near Federal Street where various vendors stood and music sparked dance moves. Four-year-old Bruno unleashed his creativity with every brush stroke at the art booth, while eight-year-old Xavier gained hands-on learning with wood carving, a vision Todd Olson is proud to see. We've been a, such a divisive nation for so long, and, and anything, anything that can bring unity to our, to our community is just a great day. After seeing different generations interact, Cam hopes this will be the start of a new tradition. That's the powerful part. That lets us know that if we just do things together, we can make a lot of headway. And guess what? We all have one thing in common. We want to all live with peace and have a great Lynchburg. So this is a very good beginning. In Lynchburg, Alexis Davila, 10 News, working for you. Virginia Senator Mark Warner is in Germany for an international security conference where the primary topic is Russia's threat to invade Ukraine. The senator says there have been no real attempts by President Vladimir Putin and Russia to de-escalate the situation so there could be economic sanctions against that country. Warner says there have already been low-level cyber attacks against Ukrainian banks and agencies. Because our networks are all intertwined, it's very likely that that kind of attack, once you let that bug out, you can't control it. It could have huge ramifications, for example, in neighboring Poland, which is a NATO nation and could suddenly raise a whole host of questions. Senator Warner says an attack could impact American businesses, energy prices and create 
more supply chain issues. We have more news to come. Senator Warner was joined by Vice President Kamala Harris today in Germany, working for you on the conversations leaders are having to deal with the international crisis. Then have you filed your taxes yet? If not, you need to be careful because scams are on the rise this year. We're working for you on how to stay safe this tax season just after the break. Have a question about current events, new laws? We can help. Just ask 10. It's easy. Go to WSLS.com, click on the menu icon, and click Ask 10. Type your question. We'll get to work on your answer. Ask 10 on WSLS.com. Tax filing season is here, but so are the scammers looking to take your money. With fewer IRS workers this year and more tax advisors encouraging people to file online, the region's Better, Be Better Business Bureau is on high alert. Julie Wheeler says do not click on social media links to file. Rather, use reputable tax preparers or go directly to the IRS website to use their free online tool. She also says there is great benefit in filing early. The IRS does provide you a PIN. And that PIN is a six-digit number, and you cannot change it. So once you have that PIN, you need to keep up with it because year after year, you'll be using that. And that's to prevent anyone other than you from filing your return. If a tax preparer says their fee is based on your tax refund amount, Wheeler says that is typically a big red flag. It is often a thankless job, but when we come back, we give thanks to the women who fought and served for our freedom. But first, we leave you with a live look from our Virginia Tech Skycam coming up on 10 News at 6. Meteorologist Delaney Warden will have another check of your forecast. Become a WSLS insider at WSLS.com. Join our family. Get to know us better. And we'll get to know you. And we'll even remember your birthday. Sign up. It's free. This is a look tonight at journalists along with Ukrainian soldiers on the border as it came under fire this afternoon. No one was hurt, but tensions are rising quickly with Russia. John Lawrence reports on the international conversations happening across Europe. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Munich for a security conference Saturday says his country is prepared for possible military action from the Russian troops hovering around the border. We are not going to advance on anyone, but we uh, stand ready for, to respond to everything. We cannot remain passive. We cannot say on the daily basis that war will happen tomorrow. Zelensky says he's still hoping for a diplomatic solution with Russia. We are ready to sit down and speak. Pick the uh, platform that you like. Pick the partners that will be there around the table with us. We are ready for that, prepared for that. But the U.S. doesn't expect President Vladimir Putin to take that course. If you look at the stance that he is in today, uh, it's apparent that he has made a decision and that they're, they're, they're moving into the right positions to be able to uh, conduct a, a, an attack. Vice President Kamala Harris, also in Munich for the conference, says the U.S. will respond to an attack with financial sanctions that target Russian institutions and key industries. Make no mistake, the imposition of these sweeping and coordinated measures will inflict great damage on those who must be held accountable. Harris is also calling on NATO allies to remain united if Russia takes action toward Ukraine. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Your local weather authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. And the gusty winds were back with us today. Some of those peak wind gusts nearing 50 miles per hour here in Roanoke. We were just shy of that 49 miles per hour here. 45 in Withville, certainly seeing some strong gusts across the region, even not currently shown on this map. The further east that you live, the lower your wind gusts were. But even so, you stepped outside today, and that was causing these already chilly temperatures to feel colder. Satellite and radar at the moment still very quiet for us. In fact, we're starting to see high pressure approaching our area and that's going to be sticking with us even as we head into tomorrow which means even more sunshine on the way but also we are going to be bringing in calmer conditions and some slightly warmer temperatures a live look now to our sky cam over in Blacksburg a beautiful sunset there some nice colors and not a cloud in the sky a big difference than what we've dealt with here over the past few days and a nice change as well our temperatures range again right around that freezing mark in fact right at freezing in Lewisburg here in Roanoke we're 
We're nearly 10 degrees warmer than that at 41 degrees. Our warmest spot is over in Danville. You're now at 47 degrees heading throughout the next few hours. We're still going to hold on to the wind, but it is going to gradually be weakening, especially after the sun sets. So temperatures, even though it's about uh, in the lower 40s here in Roanoke, it's actually feeling more like 33 degrees that 32 over in Lin uh, Lewisburg, actually feeling more like 22 degrees and even in Danville where you're 47, it feels more like 40. So we have more of this on the way for this evening. Our wind gusts. So as I mentioned, especially as we head past sunset, we're going to notice those weakening and then overnight they are certainly going to be much calmer, which is very good news considering how cold we are going to be getting for tonight. By 10 p.m. here in Roanoke, we are tapping right around freezing, but it's going to feel more like 25. But just take a look even colder than we were this morning. Teens and 20s if you're getting an early start for your Sunday 20 in Alta Vista 17 in Blacksburg also 17 for Covington and 16 for Floyd. Now as we go throughout the day tomorrow a similar situation our winds are going to be nearly as gusty but we're still going to notice a breeze at times as we head into the afternoon our temperatures are into the 40s getting close to 50s across portions of our region which is going to be much closer to where we should be for this time of year. Notice that those feel like temperatures are not going to be nearly as cold as we have been not seeing them 10 even 15 degrees below our air temperature but more about uh, 5 to 10 possibly your temperatures across the region 40s and 50s 52 in Alta Vista 45 and Floyd up towards hot springs you're also seeing 45 degrees and then we watch this high pressure system pushing off towards the east this is going to bring us our next frontal boundary bringing us some cooler temperatures but also some very beneficial rain so it is going to be a busy week for us our seven day forecast keeps us in the 60s as we head towards Monday through about Wednesday and then there's that chance for rain really each day as we wrap up the week so we will be continuing to bring in some beneficial rain but unfortunately as soon as it warms up you have to go inside yeah well I told you that the weather was so nice today I didn't really want to come up in here I know it's so nice <laughs> it and then was. tomorrow's gonna be even harder yeah and, and even Monday yeah. 60s I'll call out on Monday. Okay, there Thanks you for go. That. All right, we're already <laughs> working on 10 News at 11. A space launch from right here in Virginia sent cargo and supplies to the International Space Station earlier today. Here what Governor Glenn Youngkin has to say about that historical moment. And after the break, we'll hear from Virginia's own Denny Hamlin ahead of, the, ahead of the Daytona 500. The Liberty women look to extend their win streak while in Blacksburg, the Tar Heels were trying to end the good times for Virginia Tech. That and more next in sports. Ahead for us, the shocking helicopter crash caught on camera as it plunged towards the packed Miami Beach. And the terrifying moments a mom found her toddler locked alone inside a closed daycare center. Those stories on Nightly News. UVA trailing Miami on the road. Radford winners of three straight now. 66-64 of a high point. The Radford women fall to Winthrop on the road. And over in the ODAC, last day of the regular season. Other scores of note. Roanoke over Bridgewater. Lynchburg falls at home on senior day. EMU over Farum and WNL 88-61 over Randolph. On the women's side, Farum falls to Shenandoah. Lynchburg gets past Wesleyan. WNL 56-41 over EMU. Roanoke trailing Randolph as we speak. Highlands leading Bridgewater water as we speak. Look at your Olympic medal count this evening. Norway in the lead overall and with the most goals, Team USA is currently tied with Germany. Your news and notes VHSL Wrestling Championships wrap up tonight at Salem Civic Center. The Dogs are hosting the Ice Flyers at 7 and in baseball. Virginia Tech and UVA move to 2-0 and on the diamond with wins today. All righty. Well, if you are a woman and a veteran, today is a special day for you. It is National Vet Girls Rise Day. Today honors more than 2 million women who fought for our country and are now veterans. Women served in the military since the Revolutionary War, but weren't recognized for their service until recently. Well, today, women who choose to be soldiers are praised for their abilities. Make sure you thank a female veteran today. I know a few of my family, mm -hmm. and I'll make sure I send some thank you notes their way. Absolutely. All right, final check of the forecast. Yeah, temperatures are going to be even colder for tonight, and luckily our winds will be weakening, which is great news since it's causing our temperatures to feel a little bit colder. Even so, very cold out there, 30 degrees by 11 p.m. That's for your seven-day forecast. We will continue to warm up here for the next few days. So even by Monday, we're in the 60s, staying in the 60s through about Wednesday. And then we are also going to be tracking the potential for rain several times as we go throughout the week. So staying busy, get that umbrella 
Carla Reddy. The sun is out just a little bit longer. Yes, it is. The temperatures are warmer. Yes. So I'm hopeful that, um, you know, spring is around the corner. Spring and it's going to be 29 days you, away. But you know how those things happen, though. We'll have a cold snap right before it starts oh, yeah. to get warm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Don't get too used to it. All right. Well, NBC <laughs> Nightly News is next. We'll see you back here for 10 News at 11.